Good evening, BookTube, YouTube. This is Johnny. I thought I'd just stop by tonight just to... It's a Monday night. It is... Uh, from what I read on my calendar, it's a National Holy Day that some have described as President's Day. I don't observe National Holy Days. But it is February the 17th, 2020. It is a Monday night, so I'm going to do a Monday night reads. Just show you some things that I've been reading today. But first of all, I've been uh, listening to the new... Uh, I've been mentioning this CD by uh, Greet Death. This is their new record. Uh... I, all of a sudden, my mind went went dead about what it what's what the CD is titled. So when you get my age, you, you begin to forget things. But I think it's called. Oh, I can't remember now. What it's called? New Hell. Yeah, it's by Death put out by Death Wish Records and it's the new Greet Death <laughs> New Hell Anyway, I've been listening to that in my portable CD player tonight and uh, yeah, it is going on 9.36 like I said, it's February the 17th. It is a Monday night. Yeah, I put my headphones on. And I just listened to music. Really nice music. Kind of mellow. Good for a Monday night when you're all by yourself. It's snowing outside and it's cold and it's... Uh, Pretty dismal. So yeah, tonight I'm writing in my diary, talking to myself. I'm always talking to myself. I write in my diaries and I know that what I'm writing is just never going to be read. So I wonder, I ask myself all the time, why am I writing? Because I'm on tonight on page 100, 165 for the year 2020. And yeah. I just keep writing. Today I, I was thinking, I, I think I write because I find some kind of comfort in it. I like, I just enjoy the pleasure of writing down words. And uh, even though uh, I used to describe my writing as a, a form of insanity <laughs> because um, Who's going to read all this crap? But I like writing it. It's my writing. Trick, chicken scratch. I've been using three different pens lately in writing in my diary because to give it some kind of creative or artistic kind of presentation. Because each of these pens has a different line. Some are thick, some are super fine and some are just fine so it's kind of interesting to see the different kinds of lines on the white sheet of paper so i've been reading uh i mentioned this book a couple of days ago these essays by elliot weinberger an, an elementary thing Really enjoying this book. This kind of book you read late in the evening. It's kind of mellow. It's kind of poetic. But I've been reading that. Um, also, I got in the mail a book a couple of days ago. I forgotten to mention. This is by Carl Kloss, The Last Days of Mankind, translated by Fred Bringham and Edward Timms. I read about. Carl Kloss and that book I've been reading on 
titled, I have it in my diary here, it's titled The Impossible Exile, Stefan's Zig at the End of the World. It's kind of like a biography by George Polchik. And he mentioned about the Vienna coffee coffee houses, and one of the, the one of the major literary lights of that time after the First World War in Vienna, Austria, was Karl Klaas, and he wrote this very famous work called The Last Days of Mankind. It says here, 100 years after the Austrian sat satires, Karl Kloss began writing his dramatic ma masterpiece, The Last Days of Mankind, remains as powerfully relevant as the day it was first published. Kloss play enacts the tragic trajectory of the First World War, when mankind raced towards self-destruction by methods of modern warfare while extolling the glory and ignoring the horror of an allegedly defensive war. This volume is the first to present a complete English translation of Kloss's towering work, filling a, gap, a major gap in the availability of Vietnamese literature from the era of the war to the end of all wars. Patrol Breck. Now, when I was in college, I did a, a major term paper on Matrol Breck, hailed the last days as a masterpiece of Viennese modernism. In, a, in the apocalyptic drama, Kloss constructs a textual collage blending actual quotations from Austrian armies' call to arms, people's responses political speeches, newspapers, editorials, and a range of other sources. Seasoning the drama with cos comic invention and satirical verse. I, yeah, I came across in reading about the life of Sinmund Z Stefan Zig, and so I, I got this really cheap for about $10, and it is a... Uh, I think it's published by uh, a major uh, Margot's World Republic of Letter Books. So, so I've been looking at this tonight, looking at this in Elementary Thing by Elliot Weinberger, looking at these books tonight from Monday Reads. Also looking at Hell and Back, Europe, 1914 to 1949 by Ian Kershaw. And reading, once again, Bangkok 8, a crime novel that takes place in Bangkok, Thailand by John Burnett. I have these other ones by in the same series by John Burnett. Burn, uh, bon cat, <laughs> not bon, bon, uh, what's it called? Bangkok, Bangkok tattoo, Bangkok haunts. So these are the kind of things I'm looking at on the Monday night on February the 17th. It is going on two, not 2.44, 9.44 at night. Writing in my diary. Listening to Greet Death. I had a very quiet day. It starts snowing around 4 o'clock here in West Michigan. I had to drive my wife to work. Pick her up in the morning. She doesn't like coming out of work in the morning and having to dig the car up with snow or, trip ice or chip ice off the car windows so I drove her to work just call me on your cell phone in the morning I tell her
put it by my bedstand. So I had a quiet day, reading books, writing in my diary, dozing, fed the birds, watched the snow fall, watched booktube. Nothing came in the mail today because it's a national holy day. I boast to get the new uh, William Voldman book tomorrow in the mail, so I'll show that in a future video. So it was a quiet, normal day, which I'm always thankful for. Uh, so I hope you had a, a good day. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. This is what I'm reading today, what I read today, Helen Back, Europe 1914 to 1949 by Ian Kershaw. Been looking at the new book, The Last Days of Mankind by Carl Kloss, reading kind of poetic essays, the, an, an, an elemental thing by Elliot Weinberger. And right now I'm reading uh, Bangkok 8, a crime novel by John Burnett listening to music and just waiting to uh to end this day still being alive in the dead american world so until next time bye